<laughs> Israel this week shot dead 58 Palestinian protesters, wounded another 2,000 people in what the British media disgracefully described as clashes. It's not clashes. If one side has sniper rifles and the other side has a few catapults and slingshots, you're basically murdering the Ewoks. <laughs> it's William is to visit Israel and the West Bank. He's not the first member of the royal family to go over there, but he is the first one who isn't leading a crusade. <laughs> Apparently he's going to be meeting Benjamin Netanyahu. To me, that's one of the all-time great words in a Scottish accent. <laughs> Netanyahu. <laughs> Sounds like a really cheap Glaswegian internet package. <laughs>
everything was different in the 70s than it is now, except the Middle East is exactly the same. <laughs> it's exactly the same as it was in the 70s. It's been the same fights, and you know what? It's boring now, that's the worst part of it. When I was a kid, we were like, ugh, but you can't go like this for like a thousand years. <laughs> After a while, when you fight, people don't care, because when you're just both, you just keep fighting. Everybody's like, those guys are dicks, they just fight. That's what it's like. <laughs> you know, like I have two kids, and they fight sometimes. And when they first start fighting, I get concerned. I go in the room, I'm like, hey, what's going on? What's wrong? Why are we having some feelings? <laughs> can, we, can we listen to each other, please? Can we please just listen to each other? Okay, you go first. And then she goes, she's like, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that sounds hard. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, now you. Because I like this one a little more, so I'm that's why I'm And they work it out. You help them work it out. But if they keep fighting, you stop doing that. After a while, you just go in the room and you just go, hey! Just shut up! Fuck you, you're both wrong! Because you won't stop fighting. You're in a family. There's other people in this family, and you're being a couple of selfish little bitches that won't fix anything. <laughs> you share a room. We can't afford another room, so just deal with it. <laughs> Somehow this has to do with Israel and Palestine. I don't know exactly. <laughs> I don't remember how. <laughs> it is because my kids are like Israel and Palestine, and I'm like America. <laughs> The little one's like Palestine because she always gets screwed. She gets the worst deals. She's like, she threw a rock at my face. I'm like, you're, you're fine. Look, you, you have a great life. You get to take a rock to the face once in a while. You're fine. The older one is like Israel. She comes at me. She burnt all my dolls. I'm like, look, I can't do anything about it right now. Your sister is crazy. Please don't make me talk to her. I'll work it out, you and me, okay? We'll go out. I'll buy you a really cool missile and you do whatever you, whatever you do with it. It's totally up to you. Anger and grief on the streets of occupied East Jerusalem as Iyad Halak was buried late on Sunday night. 32 year old Iyad Halak was chased and killed in occupied East Jerusalem. Iyad, who was autistic, was walking to his special needs school near the Al Aqsa Mosque compound when he was confronted by Israeli security forces. זה מקום מסריח, המקום הזה. <laughs> אני כאילו רואה את כל הסטנדאפיסטים בארצות הברית עם כל מה שקורה עם ההפגנות, והם מפרסמים דברים, הם סלבריטאים, הם מוכרים כרטיסים, הם עושים כסף מסטנדאפ, אבל עכשיו רוצחים שחורים בארצות הברית, אז הם מפרסמים באינסטגרם. ופה אני מסתכלת על הסטנדאפיסטים מסביבי, אפילו אנשי אומנות, אנשים מפורסמים, אף אחד לא אומר כלום. אף אחד לא אומר כלום. בנג'ימן נתניהו, הוא מבטיח להקריא את האנקסיישה של אנשים אלגלים ישראלים, כמו שלושה חלקים של ג'ורדן פארט. ראש הממשלה בנג'ימן נתניהו, הוא מבטיח את הסבלנות עם אין לו אופסט. יש גם הלאג של כמה שבועות בין טסטים של פסיליטים שהם נתנו בין אנשים אלגלים ובין 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 אנשים אלגלים. Speaking up here is scarier because there is a bigger price to pay. But I'm not going to shrink myself. לפני ארבע שנים אני הייתי כאן בהפגנה בכיכר רבין. שוטרים סמויים היו בטוחים שאני ערבייה שמנסה לעשות פיגוע והתנפלו עליי והתחילו להרביץ לי. והאינסטינקט הראשוני שלי היה לפתוח את הפה ולצעוק עזבו אותי אני יהודייה. ולרגע אחד אני חוויתי מה זה עליונות יהודית כאילו שאם הייתי ערבייה זה היה בסדר להרביץ לי ולהתנפל עליי והסיפור הזה זה רק סיפור קטן על מה שאנחנו נלחמים. די לעליונות, לא, כן לשוויון, לא לאפליה, לא לגזענות. אמנים מפילים חומות של אפרטהייד, אמנים מדברים אמת כי הם לא פוליטיקאים מושחתים, אנחנו באנו להפיל חומות של אנשים שלא יכולים לנשום יותר בלי שוויון, בלי אפליה. 